want to make them an offer they can't refuse? Well, today I'm going to share six steps to make your offer seem irresistible. So get ready. Here we go. I'm Lisa Kelly, Lakeland Homes and Lifestyles with Premier Realty. I'm here every single Monday with a new video to help you make smart decisions when buying or selling a house. And sometimes I just talk about what's hot and what's not in the greater Lakeland area. So if you'd like to know when my next video is published, just hit the subscribe button and make sure you hit the little red bell. The more intentional you are when making an offer, the better your chances of creating the winning bid. So make an offer like a boss by following these six steps. Hopefully you've chosen a seasoned realtor who you can trust to give you solid advice on contractual terms, contingencies, and price. But it's you who ultimately decides how much to offer. This is the time to focus on your lifestyle must. Meaning, if you're saving for retirement or like to take three week vacations to Europe every year, have a top limit price and stick to it. Maybe you want to raise a herd of alpacas and paint your house polka dot purple. Just make sure the HOA allows you to do the things that are important to you. If a dog community is important to you, make sure your 120 pound German Shepherd will be welcomed. Now I know these examples are a little extreme, but you get the idea. You know your financial and lifestyle limits. Stick to them. The first thing the seller looks at on your offer is the amount of the purchase price. The second thing they're looking at is how much you're putting down. Essentially, they're looking to see how much skin you're putting into the game. Of course, cash is king, but if you're financing, your seller is going to be looking at the amount that you're putting down. This indicates to the seller how strong you are financially. For example, say the seller received two offers, same price, same terms, and both were financing. But one offer is going FHA financing, which is only 3.5% down. The other one's going conventional, which could be up to 20% down. The seller might be apt to take the conventional loan offer. But don't worry, hang in there with me because I am going to tell you how you could still have the winning bid without having the strongest form of financing. Before I forget to tell you later, below in the description you're going to find a link to my new 2020 Buyer's Guide. In it you're going to find loads of information and money saving tips to get you through the entire buying process. So check it out! Part of your purchase offer is going to include an earnest money deposit. This has nothing to do with your down payment and you'll get credit for this amount at closing. Show the seller you mean business. Deposit like a boss. Instead of the typical 1% that most people deposit, show the seller at least 5% deposit if you have it. For example, if you're purchasing a $250,000 loan, that's going to be a deposit of $12,500. Essentially, you're telling the seller that you're putting your money where your mouth is. This speaks volumes in a seller's mind. I also use a strategy that most sellers never expect. If you'd like to learn more about my top secret weapon, and it's a good one, you want to check out my earlier video. It has all the details. Make your offer as clean as possible with as few contingencies as possible. Contingencies are contractual provisions that must be met in order for the transaction to move forward and close. Like, your offer might be contingent on a home inspection. And if this is going to be your primary residence, you never want to waive your right to a home inspection. However, you can make your offer appear stronger than your competitors. Impress your seller with a shorter inspection period. Your realtor should be able to facilitate this for you by making sure your inspector can be scheduled immediately. And also have quick negotiations if there's any repairs needed. The one contingency that always makes sellers cringe is to see a home sale contingency. If you have to sell your existing home in order to buy the new home, make this contingency as sweet as possible. Timing is crucial here. It's best to have your current home under contract and the home inspection and appraisals out of the way so you can show the seller that you have already passed the major inspections and have documentation to prove it. This is a lot stronger, especially when you're making a home sale contingency and your house has only been on the market for a few days and you don't have any offers yet. Just make sure that you fully understand all the risk when making contingencies in your purchase offer. Most sellers want to close as soon as possible, but if you're financing, your lender is going to need time to prepare your mortgage loan, which can take up to 30 days. Have your realtor talk to the seller's representative to find out what their plans may be. 
Maybe the seller is building a new construction home and has a 45 day finish date. Try to be flexible with this closing date and show them that you could compromise to maybe accommodate their situation. Sellers appreciate this, opposed to other terms in the contract, especially if their move is taking them out of state. I can't tell you the number of times the seller has chosen an offer based on the buyer's personal letter to the homeowner. It's not always about the money. When submitting a purchase offer, have your genuine, heartfelt letter attached to the offer. Tell the seller a little bit about your family and lifestyle and tell them how you can envision future memories made in the home and compliment the seller on how well they cared for the home and also that you appreciate all the little details and maybe name a few of those details and close your letter by saying that you hope they choose your offer so you can start loving the home like they obviously have all these years. Believe me, by doing this small, genuine, humble thing, it is guaranteed that your seller will want to entertain your offer. I'm Lisa Kelly, and thank you for joining me today. And just as a reminder, you'll find the access link to my 2020 Buyer's Guide, all the videos that I talked about here today, and also all my contact information down here below in the description. And remember, I'm here to help. And until then, I'll see you on the next one.